If you are just joining us, you are watching True Talk. I am John Cancio. Today we are having another show of what? Science! They know the deal. And next up on the show, she's been here a couple times before. Her name is Julie McDonald. Everyone welcome Julie to the show. Hey! Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming once again on True Talk. You know I think you're amazing. You know that. You, I, I do, but no one thinks that anyone's as amazing as I think you are, John. Aww. So, you know, you're the star, baby. You're the star. Let's hear it for him. Let's hear it. Isn't he great? He's great. He's great. Okay, not, now you're really going to embarrass me. We can't do that. <laughs> okay, I won't do that. Sorry. So, Julie, you've been a psychic medium basically all your life, right? This is something yeah. you were born with. Mm -hmm. But you say that we can all do this. Is that true? We can all do this. And, and, um, and actually, tonight I'm here with other members of Holistic Studies Institute. That's where I went and trained. Um, I had a natural ability since I was very young. I went there and I developed that ability and, and I learned how to sort of hone it and how to, how to ask more questions, how to jump in there and get the mm. information. So you had these freaky moments, but you had to study really to put it all together so you could be a psychic. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I, I still have freaky moments, but I don't think that has anything to do with being psychic, John. <laughs> Not that kind of freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but as a little girl, you had moments that were like, aha, right? I'm different than everyone else. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Not until I was older did I think I was different. I guess I assumed everyone else was the same. Right. So you didn't really know. I didn't okay. know. Okay, and you are here from HSI. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about what HSI is? Yeah, HSI is Holistic Studies Institute. That's our acronym because... It's easier than staying holistic. Studies Institute all of the time. Um, and, and every Steven, psychic the founder, here is from HSI, by the way. Huh? Yeah, every, every psychic, psychic tonight, today. yeah. Okay. And Stephen, who's the founder, will be on after me. Okay. Um, but they've been around for over 35 years. They're one of the premier institutions for training psychics and doing intuitive development and all of that. We're still doing that today. Um, we have church services there. We have message circles. We have intuitive development classes. We have lots of exciting workshops coming up and an open house. Nice. The so last we'll weekend in April, and we'll have flyers. Do you have later. a website that we could check Holistic out? Holisticstudies.com. Okay, and you are a preacher. So you I'm preach. Preach. I preach. Preach. <laughs> no. I'm a spiritualist minister. Okay. Yes. Ordained spiritualist Nice. Minister. And we're going to take some questions from the audience. Absolutely. So let's get to that. Who has questions for Julie? Um, okay. Can you say your name one more time for me, please, Carolyn? Carolyn. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. The quick answer is yes, I do. So that's the good news. Um, what I see about this is I'm going into the summer a little bit more. I'm going to say around summer solstice, around that time, which is a great time to start romance. Um, however, what I'm also seeing is that there's a need for you to take a few more risks in order to sort of bring that in. I feel as though in your mind it's what you want, and in your heart at times you feel lonely, but you're sort of standing on the periphery and watching and waiting for it to come in instead of you sort of going out and like grabbing it. Um, and not, maybe not literally, don't literally grab, you could get arrested for that sort of thing. Uh, but, but again, just sort of stepping out and putting yourself out there a little bit more. The, the thing is, is that you have this radiant light in you, and we all do, but, but and it's right there. But I feel like sometimes you still kind of make yourself smaller than who you really are. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. So she yeah. needs to make the first move and go get this person. Well, she needs to uh, let her little light shine. It's almost a church thing. Right. <laughs> right. Let, your, let your light shine. Mm -hmm. Let it out. Don't be smaller than who you are. Bring all of yourself to the table. Step out there. That energy you send out will let people know I'm available. That you're available, not me. <laughs> I mean, if you want. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Addie. Scoot in. What would you Hi, like Addie. to ask? How are you? Ask me to scoot in. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
Well, I'm thinking of starting a business. I want to know if this is going to take off. If the business is going to take off. Um, can you tell me just the, the department or area that you're looking at um, yeah. doing the, not, not geographical area, but. I but understand what you're saying. Uh, different types of books and uh, spiritual items. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to look into that for you. Oftentimes, the, the answer to that isn't just, you know, it's not so much is it yes or no, because a lot of times it has to do with, you know, what is it that we do to get there? How do we make it successful? And those are the things that Spirit, you know, can help us with. Okay. Um, matter of fact, there's a woman standing behind you who's telling me that she's here to help you with that. And she's here to, um, not, oh, spirit. not a, a spirit, spirit person. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The woman behind you has a check. <laughs> and she'd like you to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a woman in spirit who's behind you okay. and and my feeling is that um, it feels like a mom figure to me uh, but not your mom okay okay so you know you don't have to figure out who it is right now all right but she's here and, and I feel as though okay she was an avid reader also she's telling me so she was a lover of books but my feeling about this is that yes you can be successful but I feel as though right now there's still a lot of things that you're distracted by. There's a lot going on. Yes. There's a lot around you. And I feel like in order to be successful and to move forward with it, you need to, to bring your focus in some and start in one place mm. and then begin to slowly bring it forward. Like the, it's not just the ideas that are popping all over, but it's your life kind of that's popping all over right now, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So, so kind of get a clearer vision of, of what you want. Be able to, to identify it clearly, articulate it clearly to others. When you can do that, I feel as though then you can start moving forward. I'm looking around September, October for you okay. in terms of when this sort of marketing plan or business plan will really be able to roll itself out and get moving. But I do feel that it will be favorable once you do that. Okay, thank you. So You're she welcome. should take baby steps to do that, right? Uh, well, clear steps. Decisions. Yeah, I have to make decisions. And, and yes. I understand that because I'm in conflict. Yes. So thank yeah. you. You're very thank welcome. Thank you, Addie. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Stand on up. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Samantha. Hi, Hi Samantha. Samantha. What would you like to ask Julie McDonald? I would like to ask a question about my, my job and where my career is going in conjunction with schooling, too. Are, are, you know this is going to be on TV, right? Are you, are you yeah. okay with your job seeing that you're asking about your job? <laughs> Just well, she's probably not a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. We you don't never know. know though. You never, you never know. never know. You're right. <laughs> So you're okay with that? In case yes. If I say something like, oh my God, get out! No, or something. no. Okay, so. no, that's fine. Okay. Um, so say your name uh, two more times for me, please. Samantha. Samantha. Okay. It's a nice name. My daughter's name is Samantha. Um, so you, you want to know about career and going back to school? No, I'm in school. Okay. And how my schooling is affecting my career and mm. what opportunities are coming up. Okay. Okay. I hear you. All right. So... Um, interesting. All right, so what's really interesting is that as I'm tuning into your energy vibration, um, is that, and I hear you saying you're in school, and I hear you saying you have a career, but it almost feels to me like both of those things, even though they may impact each other, it seems to me that there's still yet another thing that is your thing. There's another thing that is uh, more of your passion and more of what you can, can bring forward. Now, I want to talk to you for a minute about, uh, it, I'm not sure if this is what you are doing now or what you're moving toward, okay? I'm seeing women around you, and I'm, and I'm feeling something about women in business. Are you following me on this? Not yet. Not yet, okay. So, so it's something that I see in, that's in its formative stages, so to speak. So this could be way down the road. I'm not really clear, but I see you as a central hub Okay, so if I'm standing in the center of something, people are coming to me and I am uh, giving them or passing on to them either information or guidance or something like that where it feels like it more, becomes more of a developmental network. Do you understand this? Because you're like, I don't know what she's talking about, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. still a little lost on this. Yeah, <laughs> Be because that's, this is the thing is that this is not, like I said, this is not what you're studying. This is not what you're doing right now. Uh -huh. But what I'm picking up on is, is down the road what it is that I see in you. Now, you don't have to do it. Right. We could look and say, okay, you want to do something else, and how do you do that? 
So this might be a surprise for her, actually. Well, obviously. <laughs> she doesn't know what I'm talking about. Sure. Now, do you see that happening here or someplace else logistically? Like In Proctor's Underground? No. But no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it could, I guess. But no, in, uh, are you talking about Schenectady, like the right. Schenectady is area? Is it local or is it... No, I don't feel like it would, be, it would be local. I mean, that may be where some of that begins. You may begin to... Oh, okay, thank you. You may begin to get the, the sort of connectors in to people while you're here. Yeah. I feel like I'm going down about five, five years or more down the road here with this. And usually I don't go that far out. But I, I just think it's because Spirit's saying, hey, let her know this is really what she would be really successful at. I see you in a much more metropolitan area than Schenectady. Okay. She's like, I don't want to do that. Why are you telling me this? But no, I'm okay with that. All right. She's okay with it. Okay. okay well, good All luck right. with that. Thank good you luck. very much.